welcome back to Learn to Speak Thai channel, where I will help you to learn Thai and speak like a Thai. Today is the second episode of Thai Question Word series. If you missed the first one, it's right here. Don't forget to check it out and come back to this one. Thai Question Word number two is my, my. This is the rising tone. My is an information seeking question. You put my at the end of your statement and it turns the statement into a question. My is really, really formal, polite, and commonly used in written Thai. Now, in everyday language, everyday conversation, you don't have to be that formal. I will give you an option. You can say, My, my, this is high tone. I suggest you to use this in everyday conversation, but when you use informal situation or written time, you want to say my. Okay? Here is the pattern subject plus verb plus object and follow with my. Let me show you how. Kun mi pun. Kun mi pun. You have a friend. Now, this is a statement. To change this sentence to make it become a question, simply add my or my at the end. So it will become Kun Mi Pun My or Kun Mi Pun My in informal conversation. Kun Mi Pun My Kun Mi Pun My To answer this question word, if your answer is yes, you can use the verb of the question as the answer or use the polite particle crap for male speaker and ka for female speaker the question we mentioned is kun mi pun mai okay now what is the verb of this question it's me right so kun mi pun mai or kun mi pun mai if you have a friend you say me that's right. Or you can say ka or ka. Kun mi pun mai? Me. If your answer is no, you don't have a friend. So use mai follow with the verb of the question. So kun mi pun mai? The answer is mai mi. Mai mi. Kun mi pun mai? Maybe. As I show you, you need the verb to answer the question. So on this episode, I will show you a few words that you can use in everyday conversation. First one is Pai Pai Gin Gin Chop Chop Aroi Aroi The last one เข้าใจเข้าใจ I really like the word เข้าใจ because when you look at the word เข้า means to enter ใจ means heart now when you understand the information not just understand by your head but you understand with your heart and this is why Thai language is so beautiful let's go see the example คุณชอบอาหารไทยไหมชอบครับ คุณชอบอาหารไทยไหมคุณชอบอาหารไทยไหมชอบครับชอบครับไปกินข้าวไหมไปครับ Mai Pai Gin Kao Mai Do you know how to answer this question? Use the verb. That's correct. So the answer is Pai Krap Pai Krap Gin Mai Mai Gin Gin Mai Gin Mai If it looks scary to you, you can say Mai Gin Mai Gin กินมั้ยกินอร่อยมั้ยอร่อยกินมั้ย
กินไหมกินกินอร่อยไหมอร่อยไหมอร่อยอร่อยเรียนมาฮึเปล่าทำไมเริ่มเลยกันเข้าใจไหมไม่เข้าใจเข้าใจไหมเข้าใจไหม If your answer is no use ไม่ follow with the verb so the answer is ไม่เข้าใจไม่เข้าใจ It's quiz time now is your turn to answer the question ชอบกินเผ็ดไหมชอบกินเผ็ดไหม To answer the question click right here it will bring you to the website and you can leave the answer And don't forget to come back because we still have a little bit to show you at the end of the episode. On this episode, we learn a new vocabulary. Do you still remember them? If not, click right here and visit my website and see the list of them. If you don't want to miss a lesson, please subscribe and click like to this video. I'll see you next time. สวัสดีค่ะ Hahaha. 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 Haha